Hello my friends and welcome back to the Outer Worlds. In our last video, well at the end of our last video, we picked up a new quest called Sucker Bait. And Zora has her suspicions about what happened at Amber Heights and the cause of the massacre. And I'm guessing what it might have to do with the Iconoclast because that's the faction she's part of. So that's the first quest we're going to work on today. I'm hoping that there's an option that maybe today, based on how this quest goes, that I get to, I, I would like to make nicey nice, like I keep saying, between the Iconoclast and the people at Stellar Bay, because I feel like they're going to be stronger together, because right now they're just falling apart separately. And then maybe, maybe we'll get to go and do the actual main quest of the whole reason of us being here. <laughs> but, but who knows? I thought that would happen last time and it didn't. But since our last video, I've also taken a moment to empty my bags, to prepare, to upgrade my weapon, and... I think that's about it, but, but yeah, that, that's our plan and that's what I've done and there we go. So we're running over to, oh, I could just fast travel to right here. Let's just fast travel there. That's a whole lot faster <laughs> than me running and running and running. I mean, what's the point of all the exploration if I don't use my fast travel points, right? Okay, I feel like we've been up here Nothing before. Easy. We probably couldn't get in. I'm warmed up now. Are you? Are you? You didn't actually shoot anything, but that's okay, Ellie. At least you didn't walk in front of me. <laughs> I didn't accidentally shoot you in the head again. Naoka just turns things to to ash as usual. As usual. money to upgrade my gun so <laughs> we need to we need to keep looting everything that I can because it just gets more and more expensive as I do it okay we have been over here before it does look I've the bins are empty at least that bin is anything else I'm pretty sure we've been here but let's just double check real quick. What was up here? Yes, I've been here before. Okay, so let's head straight to where I need to go for the quest. So the quest said, Zora has, has asked you to investigate an old relay station that has been overrun by monsters. Take care of those. Well, at least on the outside I have. She hopes to find answers to the mystery of the Amber Heights massacre. So the codes that she gave us are to the relay station's entrance. Okay. So UDL communication substation 204, records room status sealed. Enter administration code. So we open the sealed door and the status, the room status is accessible. Warning unauthorized entry into the records room will result in immediate reassignment. Well, I'm okay with that. So scour the station for any data cartridges or pertinent information regarding the Amber Heights massacre. Doesn't seem to be anybody else in here. Let's loot everything. Oh no! Oh, sublight thug. Hemlock eye patch. What is that? I've, I've, I need to go back to, <laughs> I need to go back to my ship because I have so many guns that are like legendary that I'm keeping that I need to store or give to my companions. And I have the same thing with all of my <laughs> um, gear as well. So legendary eye patch. I mean, this eye patch is comfortable, stylish, and a conversation piece, reversible from left or right. I use also available in mauve or taupe. I like my squeaky moon mask though, cause it's funny, and I'm I'm having fun wearing it. But he's still wearing. See, why can't I take the outfit? The outfit's not bad. It's kind of snazzy. Anything else? No, nothing else funny. 
Let's look at the terminal last, perhaps. Ske what did it say? <laughs> Sketchy low pressure suit. <laughs> I don't know if I'd want to wear anything that says that. You gotta teach me that. I, I, I will. You know, maybe one day when you're all grown up, Ellie. <laughs> old data cartridge found in the remains of an old outpost on Monarch. Given the rust, the sulfur degradation, and the years spent sitting in dirt and dust. It'll be a miracle if anything can be found on it. Still, Zora would be interested to see it. Okay. I thought it would be in the terminal, but I guess we'll we'll do that last. Well, obviously we're gonna do it last, Jessica. You just said you were. Okay. Substation has been decommissioned following the closure of work order UDL-211. Communication functionality has been disabled. Logs and messages have been archived. Following messages are able, uh, available for retrieval. So work order UDL-211 status report number one. Recording engineer Walkowitz. Tunnels are in, cables are laid, Devil's Peak is receiving, but we're waiting on signal confirmation from the outpost. This whole place stinks of sulfur. We should have brought masks. I'm sure I heard something in the caverns beneath the tower. Something's living there. Here's hoping we don't unsettle it or else that place ain't gonna be safe for our cable guys. Okay, I'm guessing that would be like the Manta Queens and such living in the tunnels. So status report number two for the same work order. Same engineer, we've got signal from Amber Heights, Stellar Bay, and Cascadia still waiting on word from Base I Terrace in Aurora Ridge. I ought to note that I was right about those caverns. They ain't safe. Some kind of hell, I don't know, a big thing with claws. I ain't an animal scientist. Can't wait to get the hell off this rock. So was this maybe when they were first setting up all the communications? So close and the closure of the work order from the last two. So the work order has been completed. This substation will now be disabled and closed off. It should be noted that the lead engineer, Franklin Wildkowitz, has perished due to a workplace accident involving hostile wildlife in the Dev Devil's Peak Caverns. Oh, poor guy. It should be further noted that Mr. Wildkowitz's complaints regarding the dangers of the Terra One wildlife have been redacted. Well, that's not very nice. So Halcyon Referendum Number 207 Terra One Hazard Clause. Yeah, this is the same one I've read at least once before, probably multiple times. Manual log entry. Gonna die for this damn full errand, I know it. He said Amber Heights was gonna have more bits than we can spend, but those suited morons up and spent it all for us. Books and vases and pet pretty shit. You can't eat a fucking book. Look at us now. Of all the closets to coop up in and lick our wounds, we had to choose the one that's set to lock itself up. Feel like a marauder digging at the walls like this, but we but we gotta get out before we starve. It ain't possible, but Nelson's over there. Nelson over there is trying to keep our spirits up, and I don't got the energy to fight him. Screw that Bryant fella. Eyes bigger than his fucking stomach. Bryant? Graham Bryant? Wait, what? So these are the marauders or people who are going to break into Amber Heights to get money. And then they got stuck somewhere. Screw that Bryant fella, eyes bigger than his fucking stomach. Huh. I found a, sus a suspicious data cartridge that may be what Zora was looking for. Um, hmm. Wrong one. This is the one. Sublight ID cartridge. Okay, these are just keys and such. Okay. Interesting. Is there no other rooms to go into? Hmm. Hmm. Well, let's go talk to Zora. That went a whole lot faster for, for a change than I expected it to. Oh, put down the gun. Let's not have them get scared and start attacking us. I wonder what it's gonna say. Hi, Zora. Welcome back. You find anything out there? I did. Uh, I found a box of data cartridges. <laughs> An old cartridges in the like, just a bunch of junk. Now I found this box. Let's see. These are old. Looks like correspondences between the pirates. 
Some bits here, some there, some... Wait. This... This one's got the Amber Heights gate code on it. Just like the one I found earlier. And here's... A letter. Wait, this is from Graham. Oh, of all the... Captain. He gave them the gate codes. But... Why? He must have needed to take out the executives. No. So he caused the attack? Because if they didn't have the gate codes, they wouldn't have been able to get in, which means the attack wouldn't have happened. And he isn't exactly known for his rationality. There's that. Yeah. He did. He really did. Yeah. I know he's got his head in the clouds, but I always believed there was a core of good there. What the hell happened to live and let live? Thank you for bringing this back, but I need some time. I gotta think. I'll let you know if I figure something out. Okay. Is my quest done? I suppose? Let me see if I can find it in here. Okay, so the only update it says is that while investigating an abandoned pirate outpost, he found damning evidence against Graham that has caused Zora to question her loyalty to him. I mean, like, not, not for nothing, you totally should. Go take a walk, Captain. I'll find you once my head's on straight. Uh-huh. I wonder what Graham has to say for himself. We should totally go ask. Let's let's say before we go ask, just in case I mess things up. <laughs> but, dude, you caused all of this. Ah, hello. You're still alive. Thanks. Yeah, I know you're responsible for the Amber Heights massacre. When I founded the Iconoclasts, I did so amidst the ghosts of this planet's past. Since then, many have asked me, why here? Were you involved in the massacre? Was that some gruesome plot to clear a path for my dreams? My response to you is the same as to all others. The death of MSI was an incidental tragedy. I'd have walked this path with or without it. Yeah, you're avoiding the issue you set pirates on innocent lives. I don't buy it. They were going to leave the planet, but you killed them anyway. Were they going to leave the planet? I mean, I wonder if, like, the attack on Amber Heights was just, like, the last straw. So they were probably leading towards that anyway, maybe. Um, but you, you still killed people. Like, I don't care what your reasons are. People are now dead because of the decision you made. That's, that's kind of not okay. I did no such thing. Their deaths came in the night while I slept in Stellar Bay. And regardless, we're discussing a past long since left behind. Those ghosts still haunt me. But they needn't curse my people. When the entire colony has embraced our truth, perhaps then the perpetrator will come into the light. Until then, it does us no good to dwell on past mistakes. For the sake of argument, why do you imagine the perpetrator might have done it? <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. I suppose that's fair. No, it's not fair. Fine, keep pretending nothing's wrong and that your people are just going to forgive you. Uh, why, though? Why did they deserve death? If I were the type of man to make that decision, and I assure you I am not, I'd have to be so obsessed with dismantling their regime that I'd turn to desperate measures. I have since learned that their mistakes will end them in time and that we will persevere where they do not. But back then, suffocating under that oppressive culture, I can understand a lesser man than myself making a terrible, ghastly mistake. <laughs> He's really kind of totally warped and justified this all in his brain. Like, I, I, I understand, like, fighting your evil overlords, but like, uh, committing a massacre just isn't gonna make people like like you. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, you know, I, I just, I don't know. I, I, have, I have, I have problems with this. And then like s s twisting it and doing a whole PR spin, just like the corporations would, it just, oh, I just, I have problems. I don't, I, I have problems with Graham. I'm not a big fan of him if you haven't caught on. So calling a massacre a ghastly mistake is putting it a bit mildly, yes. So a stupider, younger you thought you were doing the world a favor? Yeah, that's also a good point. You're avoiding the question, why did they deserve it? Uh, I'm gonna go with the first one, because I want to. 
Would you prefer I spend my days wallowing in misery and desperately seeking forgiveness for sins long past? Maybe. I have people to lead, a home to keep. Here, without the shackles of the Halcyon board, we are free to grow as the universe intended. Had we fled with MSI, our spirits would have withered. You've seen that withering yourself. The colony is dying. The massacre of Amber Heights, unfortunate as it was, presented the slim possibility of saving the souls of Terra too. Here we are, poised to do just that. Hmm, you can't play judge during executioner like that. I have a feeling the rest of your people won't agree. Halcyon does need more people willing to take matters, I mean, not like that, take matters in their own hand. Um, I'm gonna go with the first one. I don't think a lot of, I think there are some probably hardcore believers into Graham and his philosophy and um, his cult, <laughs> his cultish personality. But I think there's just as many probably who are like Zora, who kind of fell in with this group and needed to survive and thought they were going to do good things and, you know, thought he had a good heart. But like, you lied to them, like you built everything on a lie and people are going to have a problem with that. You know, people don't, don't like being lied to. Especially when it's a, I, I'm doing it for the benefit of you. I, I, anyway, I'm ranting. <laughs> you can't play judge during executioner like that. Free will is a double-edged sword, Captain. The universe judges us all. Whether your choices are helpful or harmful to the cosmos is not up to you. Those executives were found to be poisonous to the spirit of humanity. They were doomed, whether by the hands of man or beast, their time was coming to an end. And here I am, a paragon of the eternal truth, leading a society of like-minded people. The universe has found me worthy, despite whatever sins you believe I've committed. Let us speak no more of this, Captain. We have a message to spread and a colony to save. Well, aren't you just extremely full of yourself and your perceived greatness and... Wow. Okay, he's definitely not there anymore. Sora, do you have anything else new to say now? Go take a walk, Captain. I'll find you once my head's on straight. Okay, um, hmm. I kind of want to go talk to Sanjar now and see what he has to say about all this. But I don't want to stir things up with him either. But let's, actually, let's go back to Fallbrook, because I need, I've had a note to go and talk to one of the vendors there. Because I remember when I was editing a video, when I was selling stuff, I saw something in his inventory that I wanted to double check. And it was, where is he at? Ah, the dry goods, here we go. Have you seen Arthur today? And I think it was Duncan. I test every product myself. No rubber. Okay, so let's trade. I thought there was something. I'm probably totally wrong. Here we go. So sublight data pad Rizzo, the personal data pad of a sublight contractor. When a sublight contractor dies on the job, their aggressively non-sentimental teammates sell all of their possessions to maximize profits. This could explain why most sublight contractors tend to work alone. It's hard to partner with someone who often weighs how valuable the corpse might be. So this data pad contains the personal journal of Mercer Cole, a low-level sublight contractor. Most entries pertain to slagging his teammates or complaining about ship-for-pay contracts. The last entry reads, Can't believe we found fucking Alavite gas in a hibernating Rizzo lab in the dust bag. Altavita gas? Um, Lavite? Alavite? Whatever. It's spelled. It's worth a shit ton. Who the fuck could use that to make candy? It looks like old Gertie's hunch is going to prove out. Not that I'll ever tell her so. The way she goes primal at the slightest hint of criticism, too much product for us to transport. Gonna need a ship to smuggle this off world. Probably need Lilia Hagen to send a team. No way Ms. Malin can handle this job out of Fallbrook. Been working on Remy, plying him with the, the pale kale ale as he likes. Figure if I get him nice and sloshed, he'll tell me the password into the place. Did some exploring while he and Gertie were testing the Alawiti gas. <laughs> 
found in an elevator shaft, a lab coat modded into a hidey spot for some dandified weapon. Things probably worth enough to make me a right top runger after I go back for it. Old Mercer's getting himself to Byzantium. You can bet on it. Can't let Remy or Gertie find out about it. Gertie go all full burn and demand I split the profits. Remy, he'd probably send me to the boneyard and keep it for himself. Okay, and then the next one is a damaged UDL data pad, corporate data pad with UDL branding from the plasma burns and specks of blood marred the device. Its previous owner refused to part with it until, until to quote over my dead body. Down on their luck, smugglers will often purchase old data pads in the hopes of finding clues to a forgotten cache of goods they can sell. So the screen is cracked and most of the keys are non-functional, fused together from plasma damage. All but a few entries are unreadable. All of these remaining only snippets can be viewed. Entry number one, Orpal Saub Sauber, you are reassigned effective Emi, must report to Site Safety Commander Sanders by 1600 HST. Transport provided by non-corporate contractor, reliable. Proceed overland to Research FAC East Town Designation Fallbrook. Entry number two, kind of shithole facility is this? I'm never accepting a promotion again until it comes from a gilded. Hastily keeps losing her own damn key card, or haste, hastity, so chastity maybe? Anyway, expects me to find it for her, not her fucking swain. At least Powell is easy on the eyes. Entry number three, shipped wrapped, fucking alarm went off again before I got a chance to try the weapon, seen anything like it. Itch, chastity, used it for a damn prank. Now Sanders is going to lock it up and I'll nev perfect for crowd control. Oh, I know which weapon they're talking about. Easy to maintain order in the townships once they get their hands on glue. Did that update something? This one maybe? No, it didn't. I thought it would have. Okay. Never mind. I guess that was just interesting information. Do you have no anything refunds. else interesting to sell? It's here. No, I need to double check the quest ones more often. Because that was just pure dumb luck when I saw it when I was editing a video. Okay. So I kind of want to go talk to Sandra, but I kind of want to see how Zora, well, how Zora approaches everything. So maybe until then, we actually work on the main quest because I also had Starcrossed Troopers, which is Nyoka's quest. And that was up at the station as well. We had to talk to the information broker. So the whole reason for us coming to Monarch like eight years ago was to find this information broker who promised to find the location of the chemicals that Phineas needs to unfreeze the rest of my crewmates from the Hope. So the problem is, is that he hasn't delivered the intel on time and hasn't provided an explanation. So we had to travel to Monarch to find him and obtain the data. So we picked up Nyoka to guide us there. So she's recommended ascending via the caverns underneath Devil's Peak, following the rotted river to find the entrance. So you've reached Fallbrook, which is roughly halfway to the station. You'll have to head further west before being able to ascend the mountain. I don't know which. I want to do both, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, I, I, I just do. But let's see. The caverns. Where did they say it was? Follow the rotting river to find the entrance. Well, I, is this the rotting river? Maybe let's go to the crossroads again and see if we can find the river to go into the caverns. And then maybe we can come down the mountain that way. I don't know. Because Devil's Peak is in front of us. So maybe this is the river here. Maybe. It's probably not, but we can try anyway. Oh. You guys have respawned. Nothing like a good tussle. Mm-hmm. I'm like just spraying all over the place, hoping I actually hit something. If I aim, it, it tends to go a bit better. Sometimes. Okay, so there's... Ooh, 
who's over here? Probably more marauders or canids or manta queens or incoming. Okay. I guess we're going back. Oh dear. Oh, what the heck happened there? Don't what the mess with us. It like teleported across the cavern. That's not, that's not normal. <laughs> Let's be honest. Okay. You know what? It, it doesn't matter. We're just gonna reload, do a little quick save. And go through the caverns as Nyoka recommended. And see how that goes. <laughs> Fast travel location discovered Devil's Peak Caverns. Okay. Thanks. Okay, so I need to try to be mindful of any landmines or such. That that would probably be a good idea. Cause I'm very bad at dodging. Wow, it's really kind of pretty, actually. I mean, really pretty. Look up. That makeshift bridge, we gotta cross it. First we go under, then hook around to the left, then up and over. Uh, okay, I'm... I think this... This bridge, maybe, oh, maybe that bridge. I actually have no idea what you're talking about, Nayoka, but I will believe you. Let's uh, clear the whole cavern, though. We okay now? Yeah? We doing good? Now, oh, who made it in here? An iconoclast. And a scientist. Interesting. I like how they had time to take out all the, uh, a, a bypass shunt, some bits. <laughs> a sublight, an iconoclast, and a scientist go into a cavern. I feel like that should be a joke somehow. <laughs> Oh, nice. What's in here? More things to sell. Great work. Okay, nothing interesting. So she said go under and then to the left and... Here we go! Perfect! Ugh, little little flying things that move too fast for my aiming abilities. <laughs> okay, that area is all investigated. Yes, it is. I mean, it's really, I like the glowing blue and everything going on. It's really kind of cool. What's over here? Nothing? There's, oh, there's lots of red triangles over in that area. Make it look so easy. Well, thank you, Nayoka. I do try. 
a refurbished helmet. I just feel like no one's going to want to wear that. Let's save. Here we go. Let's keep this up and I won't have any new battle scars. That's the whole plan. I don't like battle scars. <laughs> I feel like they could have long-term bad ramifications. Especially with all this poison crap they're always spewing. Okay, so up and around across the bridge. Okay, this is the makeshift bridge. These marauders just aren't having any luck, are they? Darn. Tunnel here. Okay, the tunnel there. That's what you're talking about. But there's other places over here to explore, Nyoka. And things to kill. This gun is so amazing. <laughs> it really is. I, I just, I love the upgrading because then I don't have to constantly be changing my, um, changing my inventory around and once I find something and I like it just the way it is, I can just keep using it and I like that option. I really do. It does get progressively, like I said, more and more expensive and so far so good, but it's kind of the only thing I'm spending my bits on right now. A mega Santa Queen. with Berthold. Who's Berthold? Oh, no, I'm on fire. Oh, there you are. Is Berthold the information broker? Or are you just hanging out in here? Well, she has lots of stuff. Berthold Fox. Okay, I will I will get to you, sir. Just just please hold a moment. What what are you How did all of you guys get up here? I mean, I imagine you walked, but why? Flamethrower. Oh, that's so dangerous. Okay. Let's quick save and then talk to this gentleman. That assist was a violation of corporate law if I ever saw one. Since it was to my benefit, and we're largely in lawless lands, I'll look the other way. C3 owes you one, stranger. You haven't seen Constance, have you? Ah, there's her torso. And better be her legs over yonder, never mind. I'm Berthold. What in the void are you thinking, creeping around a mana queen like that? Yeah. At the time, I was thinking... Please don't see me. Oh, law, I don't want to die. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> now I'm thinking it was stupid to come in here. What even are you doing here? And corporate policy, who who do you belong to? Killing marauders and hooligans, as I am handsomely paid to do. Of course, as me and Constance discovered, they ain't the only forms of life inhabiting these caverns. I owe you a debt for saving my neck, stranger, and I mean to pay it. There's a station up the way. It's where my C3s are posted. We can talk more there where it's safe. I'll be on my way. Once I've gathered up Constance's parts. Who... Uh, I... What? Hang on. So the C3 mercenary company is stationed southeast of the Devil's Peak Station. You may be able to convince them to help you. Help, help me do what? Ed? I... Meet me at the camp. And try not to get shot on approach. Okay, okay, all right. I will just hopefully remember to find you later. Well, it's gonna be. I have lots of things that I have to remember, and I'm not very good at it. <laughs> I write it down, but then I just don't get to it very quickly. <laughs> That's the problem. Because I still have to go back to what is it, Auntie Cleo's place, and check in with the guy who was make, making guns or something like that. Am I even going the right direction? I think I am.
But why? It's he was just in there killing beasties and marauders. I for who though? Okay, up there it looks like. But what's what's over here? Reload before the fight. Any, oh, we'll take that. Anything else? There's a light, so, oh, look, mines. I saw him this time. What's back here? What are you hiding? Anything good in your boxes? It's empty. That's... It's not very... Bits, mag picks. Oh. What is that up there? Looks like a... You know, a mechanical mover. I, I, words are hard. <laughs> and it looks stuck. A forklift, there you go. Okay, so I think we're about to exit the tunnels, right? Yes, Devil's Peak Summit. Sounds all funny. It's not working. There we go. And here we are. Told you we'd make it in one piece. Station ain't too far now. Nope, it's right there. But that was the road that we could we could have just followed this windy road and well then we wouldn't have met people, right? But hmm. Mandibles of Doom. You ran into a traveler trapped in a mana queen lair. Helping him may prove to be of some worth. Ah, okay. So this is the Berthold quest. So grateful for your assistance, Berthold has asked you to rendezvous with him at his mercenary camp near Devil's Peak Station so that he can compensate you for his efforts. Okay, well, that was, that was lucky. <laughs> hey, you, get over here. There are marauders up ahead. Who are you people? Wonder if Hiram's home. <laughs> Just kidding. Guy never sets foot outside. This place is supposed to look like horns? I don't see it. I mean, if you look at it from far away, I mean, it's right there. Look. Oh, no. The two horns. How the hell did marauders navigate the caverns? Just, just like we did, probably. So you are Joy Voivade, maybe? This station's under the protection of the corporate compliance crew. You a marauder? Cause me and my sunshine, that's my gun if you were wondering, we don't take kindly to marauders. No, no one was wondering that. Um, what marauders? Is that a trick question? Never mind. marauders ain't smart enough to be asking those. That's good, I guess, as I wasn't looking forward to double tapping you. You're clear. But I would caution you against pressing on ahead. This station's plumb crawling with marauders, you know? Uh, shouldn't you be doing something about that if it's your job? Yeah, it's your job to protect the station, right? Me and Sunshine are doing exactly what we've been tasked with. And that's guarding these big old devil's peak horns. Uh, well, what are you waiting for? Help me kill the marauders? There is nothing I'd enjoy more. But the C3s play it by the book. Usually. Go petition the boss man. Maybe you can convince him to alter my duties. You ought to talk to my crew. They're guarding a small barracks to the southeast, by the edge of the mountain. Um, how do I find the other C3s? See that path that runs underneath that giant archway? Follow it on down. There's a little station near the cliff. 
You'll find the rest of my crew there. Okay, bye. You're tasked with guarding horns. Hello, sir. Need something? Talk to Joy. And for the love of space, don't rile the marauders. But I'm 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 gonna have to because I need to get inside. Why do people make such a big thing out of hiking? Once you're up, you just gotta go down again. Right. I to be honest, I'm surprised it's still standing. Every time I set foot inside, I half expect the tower to fall over. <laughs> okay. Well, um, nice to meet you. Just when I think I'm done meeting every single person on this planet, I I, I meet new people. So <laughs> that made more sense in my head. But we're gonna just go, go in. Reload and... going, I guess. Where are we going? Oh, there's more. There's more over there. Well, that was kind of <laughs> like, oh, we're going. We're going right now. <laughs> well, now we just got to backtrack because I need to loot all these bodies and poke around a little bit and see what's going on. So marauders were camped out outside the relay. Oh, now you want to come? You're... That doesn't seem very... It's kind of lame. Oh, there were two scrap mechanics. Oh no, there were just one. Anything else? Tamed Canid. What else is over here? I know we need to go that way, but I'm getting distracted. Okay, that's just the pathway down, it looks like. Okay. Those sentries are moving <laughs> ever so slowly. Herb. Oh, energy cells. I don't really use science weapons, but just in case, it's good to be prepared, right? You guys are gonna take your positions there now, I guess, since I cleared out the Marauders for you? Is that what's happening? Nice work. You should check in with my crew. Maybe they can help you. Go back and follow the trail running underneath that archway and you'll find them soon enough. Okay. Damn, but I like the way you fight, stranger. Wish we could join you, but I got orders to stay put to guard the horns and and not actually, you know, the people inside. I mean, I don't, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine, whatever. Okay, so that's the door to go in. But let's see what's over. Hiram must have sealed the door. He's, he spooks easy. Oh, okay. I mean, if the guy never leaves his communications lab, or tower or whatever this is, I'm, you know, not surprised to say. That's sealed, so we have to go in over here. So let's click save just in case. And transition to Devil's Peak Station, finally. <laughs> realize this being as you're an outsider, but the blaring alarms indicate the station's on lockdown. Which means you can't ever get to me. So leave already. <laughs> can't? We'll see about that. Yeah. 
We'll, we'll see about that there, Hiram. Hmm. Ah! with us. Oh, let's be sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky, Here sneaky. They come. Did you guys get him? Good. Good job. Let's pick up a bunch of stuff that I can sell. I'm sure Hiram won't mind since we're clearing the place of marauders for him. Uh, it's, oh, and there's three floors too. Wow, pretty big place. Fun times. Only you can protect fourth quarter profits. I mean, this place is huge. Although I guess at their heyday when all the corporations were here, then there would be, have been a lot more people around. Okay, let's attempt to not get lost. So where does this door go? I'm guessing it's- Here's the elevator, but ain't gonna budge while this place is on lockdown. Guess we keep moving forward. Look for another way up. Yeah. See if we can find, I don't know, something to take us out of lockdown maybe? I was just thinking, I need a terminal. Look, there we go. <laughs> so memorandum, environmental controls, installation, and key card. Barb, the new environmental controls terminal is now installed and running and running upstairs. Congratulations. You mes messaged corporate about it. You get to manage it. Consider this your official notice to hide its access key card deep in the bottom of a drawer somewhere, preferably within the archives or in one of the station's other popular sections. Because I sure as hell will not allow our station's efficiency scores to plummet due to a pointless safety feature. Don't even think about it. Testing the system. Oh, don't even think about testing the system. The emergency sirens will make your ears bleed, and if you accidentally trigger the fire suppression system, it can suck the air from the room faster than the station's last performance review, Val. I kind of want to try it. So, Devil's Peak Environmental Controls Key Card. I, I kind of want to where, where can I, where can I test this out? I wonder, <laughs> so horrible. Nayoka, stop drinking. <laughs> okay, there's somebody over here in the bathroom. <laughs> See, this is why you need a door. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. Sorry, sir, I didn't mean to kill you on the toilet. That's kind of embarrassing, right? The dissident comic book, maybe? You out there, whoever you are, yes, yes, I can see you. Come here and talk to me, face to intercom. All right, hang on, Hiram. I'm assuming that's what my update is. So, the C3 Mercenary Company is stationed southeast of the Devil's Peak. Uh, you've been invited to speak to the station's owner via intercom. And what's my codex? Is it just the log that I read? Yes. Hmm. Okay, well, let's save and talk to him. I can't tell if you're brave or simply touched in the head. What in the galaxy are you doing sniffing around my station? Unless you are, in fact, trying to suicide by Marauder? <laughs> and you, Nioka, what are you doing lugging a stranger into my station? You could use the socialization, you son of a bitch. <laughs> also, she hired me. To 
what purpose? I happen to have some significant problems I am dealing with right now. Marauders, running out of purpleberry wine three days ago, not being able to bloody broadcast. Hmm. I need to see the information broker about... No, no, no. We'll deal with information-related business later. As I said, there are bigger problems threatening my life and livelihood at this very moment. The Marauders want me dead. Obviously. And since my hired hands have clearly turned idle, it appears I need you to clear out the threat. As my newest contractor, you may call me... The Broker. <laughs> or we can call you Hiram. On account of that's your damn name. And doubly on the account of the broker being a dumbass alternative. What? Everyone calls me that. Aside from you. <laughs> you always count on an Ioka to just point out the obvious and call you on your nonsense. So, okay, broker. See, Nioka? I barricaded the broadcast center, but I can only hold out for so long. Clear the Marauders out, and I'll pay you double the going rate. They destroy the transmission equipment, and I'll be out of business. The elevator and doors to the second floor are back online. Hurry before I have to lock them down again. How many Marauders are in the station, and what's in it for me? Well, tell me what I'm dealing with first. Too many, considering I hired a bunch of no-good mercs to keep them out in the first place. Yeah. Already, they've caused considerable damage to the station's property. If they take down the broadcast equipment... I'll be out of a job, permanently. Is someone actually paying you? Well, I guess people pay you for information broker, they pay you for information dummy. But yeah, those guys you hired are kind of lame. Like they're looking for any excuse not to do their job? <laughs> well, what's in it for me, broker? Aside from the bits I'll be paying you, you said you wanted something for me, something information related. I'll give it to you in person once I'm safe. In person? Okay, well, I'll see what I can do. Do you not normally give it out in person? What's in here? I have Real to know. Slick. Thanks. Ooh, just, just stuff. Maybe, there we go. Energy cells. More bits. And... Nothing? Hmm. I always hope I always hope there'll be something amazing behind a locked door. And sometimes there is, but more often than not, there is not something amazing. Okay, so we need to backtrack to the elevator, but let's loot some more ammo. Just in case I need it in the future. And try to go a smidgen I'll keep it down. farther, perhaps. Hey, elevators to your right. Get ready. Okay. Well, I'll save. Come on. Come on, crewmates. Let's go. I like how they look down at me and like, what are you doing? A lot of red triangles. Opening the box mess with us. Okay, nobody, nobody heard that one apparently. Let's attempt to keep being sneaky, you sneaky. Are shot, asshole. Or not. Oh. Everyone, all right. Yes, that was actually not. Awful. Okay, well, let's loot around just a smidgen, and then I think we may actually need to pause here for today because I'm pretty much at time, and this is probably as good of a stopping point as I'm going to get. So I think in our next video, we'll finish exploring. We're on floor two of three, so we'll finish exploring the station, clearing it of marauders reading any terminals if i manage to find any which i probably won't at this rate but maybe i'll have some more data oh there's a terminal never mind um read some terminals and hopefully find the broker and maybe by the time we do all that zora will be at a place where she's willing to talk to us about what to do with graham and 
then go from there. So as always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe and I will see you again on Tuesday with another new Outer Worlds video.